Hello and welcome back to Verbos Mode by Taxcare, a, coming to you live from Spring I.O. 2025. Uh, and uh, this time we will turn the Verbos Mode on with Andres. Uh, welcome. Hello. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and thank you, thank you for being here. And we are talk, going to talk about Spring Security. Yeah, exactly. So let's start with a couple of words for those who maybe never heard about Spring Security, what, what this uh, project is. Yeah, in the, the Spring, Spring uh, framework world, it, 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 it has the task of making things secure. So, so if you have a REST uh, endpoint, if you have some, some database, uh, some business logic, uh, you want to have a secure uh, application and Spring Security is the one part that deals with all about security. Yeah. So all about security is a lot. Yeah, in fact, authentication, authorization, how to authorize things. It knows about all the, the state-of-the-art authentication mechanisms like uh, OAuth2, OpenID Connect, um, also the latest things like uh, pass keys, mm -hmm. for example, so which mm, I've cool. shown in my talk today and also as part of the workshop. So uh, it basically makes it very easy to set up yeah. Uh, secure access yeah, so, to so, yeah, your application. Yeah, yeah so it, it, it is, makes it more easy for developers to not uh, have to dive, deep dive in into um, all the details of the, the frameworks. So if you implement pass keys or OAuth two yourself, you can easily shoot yourself. Oh yeah, in, no, in that's the, the uh, and it's, then, it's yeah. definitely <laughs> not fun to no. <laughs> not fun to code. Yeah, and uh, I guess I mean uh, access and. Uh, Authentication um, is one thing, but authorization yeah. is, is something That's else. Even more tricky part. Then. That's so, my so point. Because for authentication, we have lots of standards, and authorization, you are basically left on your own. So, so yeah. Right? So, <laughs> so you have say, some yeah. concepts, yeah. like yeah. role based authentication. Yeah, but also very basic ones. So, so, but in the end, you have always a specific solution in your application that is just the right solution for your application dealing with authorization. Some solutions are just simple role-based access solutions, mm -hmm. where other solutions have to, to check each and every object uh, via an ID if my user is, uh, can access that object or another user cannot access that object. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Things can become very complex sometimes. And, and the, so one of the things about authorization is that you might want to change them on the fly without yeah. restarting your application. Yeah. Yeah. So, so how that works? Yeah, that, that's typically a thing. Yeah. So, so, so with Spring you also have the, the, the refresh per bean concept to, mm -hmm. to solve such things. So, so that it sort of refreshes uh, beans whenever you change some authorization rule, for example. So and uh, are there any kind of management tools that allow me to manage authorization in roles and groups and uh, yeah, access? There are also, uh, yeah, Spring Security can also talk to external uh, tools, frameworks like Open Policy Agent, uh, mm -hmm. there are different ones. Um, they One are of the tools more that powerful I than authorization yeah. uh, in Spring Security. Yeah. One of the tools that I'm familiar with is called Permit.io mm. that runs authorization yeah. and they, it's very powerful yeah. and you have uh, also like an um, admin backend that you can yeah. configure yeah. the roles and it's on, not, not only role based but there are different models. So yeah. it sounds like this is something that I, if I could easily plug into Spring Security, yeah, my yeah, lab will yeah, be yeah, much you easier. You can either do it yourself in Spring Security but you can extend it to just delegate all these mm -hmm. complicated things then to an external authorization provider. So that's like the open yeah, policy like agent, got, agent yeah. or pyramid yes, yeah, yeah. or these or. are just two examples that you mm -hmm. can do. So mm -hmm. basically all these uh, things uh, offer REST APIs for example. So this Makes is sense. the main integration usually. So you just call some API mm -hmm. authorized there. So and and, and, and all those are implemented already in Spring Security? Um, I, I think for, for, for open policy agents, there are ready mm -hmm. to use solutions for, for other things. Maybe you have to mm -hmm. integrate yourself. But mm -hmm. If they offer a quite convenient REST API, so that should not so be a in the end of the for day, Spring developer. Yeah. The API is send me the username and the object that right to access and I will give yeah. you a result if they are allowed or not allowed. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's the entire API. Yeah. So even there, there is now a new standardization going on. So the same OAuth, uh, IETF uh, working groups, 
that standardize the authentication part now try to also standardize the authorization part. Oh, that's uh, yeah, fascinating. So they want to standardize the, the protocol that you speak to some external authorization provider. So what you send, what you get, so, so it's basically what you told. So, so you just send some details, what is the authorization based on, and mm -hmm. you get back authorized or not authorized, a simple answer. Well, I think it's about time it gets yeah. uh, standardized, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's been a yeah. pain in the ass for yes. for decades. Yeah, and that that is the missing part that they try to solve now. So, so <laughs> because authentication, we can do that pretty good. So, yeah, so of far, course. So yeah, we yeah. can handle that. But authorization, we still have lots of issues in that that thing. So, so, so that's why the OWASP uh, API top ten, the number one, is still uh, broken authorization in all cases. So. That's a big problem. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, uh, hopefully, uh, again, tools like uh, Permit.io yeah. already make it yeah. so much uh, more seamless yeah. and so easier. Uh, but I think, yeah, standardization in this particular yeah. corner of security yeah. is way over yeah, You only have to solve it one time and then you can exchange the tools that are compliant and with yeah, that. Yeah, so through so place that, yeah, so, providers. So, yeah, yeah. So otherwise you only have proprietary things and that, that makes things difficult. So, so to find people that know all these kind of tools then with the specialized uh, uh, protocols. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Sounds good, sounds good. All right, Andres, so yeah. today we learned. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah, thank and you. Um, and you all stay tuned maybe for another episode of the verbose mode i promised you rod johnson rod johnson stood me up as it looks at the moment i'm now going personally to hunt him down bring him here <laughs> so maybe you'll see that him or maybe you'll see him next time in any way thank you very much for watching and thank you for more episodes of the verbose mode by taxcare oh, cool.